What's up, man? How are you? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Yeah. Most people know you as founder, leader, movement of Black Guns Matter. No doubt. No doubt. So for people who don't really know too much about that, talk to me a little bit and tell me what that's all about. We at Black Guns Matter, we're a firearm safety and training organization that goes in, you know, we deal with the basics. You know, we go into areas where, you know, a lot of um, anti-gunners will say, you know, oh, this, this area is bad because of you know, firearms, and it's not. So we go into those areas that traditionally have no information, very little resources, and we, we you know, bring that hood up to speed on uh, the Second Amendment rights, firearms, basics, uh, safety and training, and just uh, inform the hood, basically. Nice, nice, nice. So, in, in doing so, how long you been doing this thus far? Uh, we on a tour now, this is the second city, but uh, we've been picking up steam over the last year. Okay, and uh, which, where's your next stop? We're going to Chicago tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's 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 what that's what we needed the most, you know. Yeah. So now clearly, a lot of people are automatically going to see something like Black Guns Matter and then affiliated uh, with Black Lives Matter. Right. Now, is there is there any affiliation whatsoever, or is that are they they stand independently of each other? What's what's the deal there? No, I don't. To be perfectly honest, I've met I've never met anybody from the Black Lives Matter organization. I think the media does a really good job of um, splintering things and making one thing that has nothing to do with something look like something else. But as far as the official leadership, I've never met anyone from that organization. I understand uh, what their sentiments may have been because of certain, th you know, uh, injustices. But as far as us being affiliated, no, um, I, I, I get it. You know, I, I don't, I don't really know who's in charge over there to a certain extent. Yeah. But um, I, I get why people make that correlation, because yeah. especially if you're not really asking a question, if you're just assuming, you know what I mean? And, and if you, you, you're living on the sound, you know, the pull quotes and things like that or sound bites. But no, we're not affiliated with Black Lives Matter. Um, I do. Obviously, I think black, blue, uh, yellow, brown, all lives matter in that extent, you know, yeah. so I don't want to step on nobody's toes. But no, we are not affiliated with the Black Lives Matter movement. So now with black guns. So, so explain to somebody where you got the name Black Guns Matter from, because a lot of people kind of get confused about that as well. Yeah, well, first and foremost, I like Glocks. I mean, I, I you know, it's, it's, it's very simple. I, li I like firearms that, you know, are a lot uh, easy to conceal, and at the same time, you know, it, if it's sunny out today, you know, chrome reflects, you know, so those are the things for that. Um, and ARs are what they are, you know what I'm saying? So um, I, that's that's really I mean, the. I largely, I largely ask you that question because I know some people will look at that and assume you mean black in terms of race, where only black the organization is only for black people. No, it, that's yeah. the craziest thing. Now, is do we have a serious misrepresentation or misinformation in the black community as far as firearms knowledge? Yes. You know how many white people have Black Guns Matter hoodies on? Yeah. Like, you know, my social media alone is like people, you know, because they understand that it's about the firearm, it's about the safety, you know, it's about the education and the training. But no, it has nothing to do with race. I mean, I have, you know, I hate to sound like that guy, I have so many white friends, you know, <laughs> but but it's true. And, and, you know, I think any form of racism, you know, in that sense is, that ain't that ain't really what it's about, you know, and, 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 and it, I get it. If people, you know, when they see us moving around with the t-shirts and things like that, just ask us, man, as opposed to assuming. That's the, you know what they say about assuming. I mean, I call it a cultural catalyst. Mm. You know, um, the ambiguity kind of works in your favor in a lot of ways. Mm. You know, what it does is it causes people to kind of ask the question, and then you get to kind of actually explain it to them. Right. And then engage people in the conversation that really needs to happen. Or, so, the, or do you know what else happens? They'll jump yeah. right to their preconceived notions, and they'll expose what their real thoughts about it sure. uh, is. You sure. know, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot more hate mail and death threats lately, and that's like... Why? Like I, I'm the nicest person, but you, like you said, you know it's 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 good that they uh, they have that you know they either create the dialogue or they jump right to their misconceptions and I can either way it's a, it's a, it's a teachable moment. It's it's a, it's a continuous fight that we both 
you know, in a lot of ways can relate to that we constantly have to keep battling over mm-hmm. and over and over again yep. so that we can get to the point where we have that conversation on a level that you know and I know we need to be having it. Right. Um, with that being said, so I premiered the first episode of Noir yesterday. Mm-hmm. Did you get a chance to see it? Hell yeah, I saw it. Twice. <laughs> on YouTube. So, so, so what did you think about it? No, actually, you know what I'm going to do that. That's too easy. Okay. Critique, give me one critique you had of the episode. How about that? Get now. I'm gonna get up. People are gonna get upset with me about this. Yeah. The anti-gun panel, they don't have any facts. It's just, it's a lot of feelings, and some of their statistics are not accurate. Even when they, you, you know, and I, and I hate to, you know, because I want everyone to be able to communicate whatever yeah. they feel, you know. But it's like it's so much, especially the young lady. She had so many emotional arguments, even to the point where you brought up the one percent, you know. Yeah. Would you rather be the, in that, let's say, since we're dealing with hypotheticals, since you guys want to throw hypotheticals, if you're that 1% of that time, would you rather have the option to defend yourself? That question never got answered, you okay. know, and, and you almost kind of can't say, yeah, I'm suicidal, so just don't give me a means to defend myself when there's a crazy person in the situation, you know, so that's my only critique. You get, you give, you know, you're a lot nicer than me because... I, I walked into that conversation with the understanding that I'm going to get bullied, I'm going to get railroaded in many ways mm. just because I wanted to let them talk and state their peace. Yeah. Now, is the rest of the conversation going to remain that way in the subsequent episodes? Mm. You're going to have to watch it and find out. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> but no, man, I really appreciate it, man. It's always good talking to you. Man, keep right. doing what you're doing. No Any doubt. way I can help, let me know. You know, that's always the case. Yeah. Um, you know, we hit in Chicago. Uh, we, uh, you know, our, our Black Guns Matter tour is in Chicago on the 8th. We at the Croc Center on the south side. You know, um, anybody that, you know, wants to come, link, share. It's a free event. Learn. We Beginners, people that, you know, you have this thought process that you want to be involved with firearms and you just don't feel like you, nobody will understand. Come out. It's free. Bring everybody. You don't have to have a firearm to have some firearm knowledge, you know. So, Chicago, uh, this Saturday. Let's do it. You heard the man. Chicago, this Saturday. Like a matter. Miles Toure. Appreciate it, man. No doubt. I'll see you in a bit. You have a good one. All right, peace. Enjoy this again at the top of the hour.